right now a lot of our emphasis, as well as ending the wars, is on healing. Heal, which means not being redeployed over and over and over again, especially those who are wounded in any form whatsoever. And healing that belongs to everybody who's been through this situation, a combat situation. And one of the things we did last spring was to have a healing ceremony with members of the Lakota tribe who are part of Military Family Speak Out um, in, in the Black Hills. And military families and veterans were involved. We're also a resource for families um, trying to get help for their veterans or for veterans themselves. You can go to our our website, mmso.org, and find a list of resources of all kinds for all over the country. This is a nationwide organization, and uh, we take lots of direct action wherever we are, and um, a lot of people were involved with Camp Casey way back when Cindy Sheehan first brought attention to the fact that um, the war had a human cost. Um, and there are people, many, many of our members were there on a bus tour across the country. And um, since then, um, we've had a huge variety of um, civil disobedience, um, legislative action, lobbying, striking, um, art making, video making trying to get the message out that there are two wars going on. They continue to go on. People continue to die. And can, people continue to be deeply injured. Soldiers are injured um, and return home with, with needs that are not being met or are having to be met with by families who are already overburdened by the, by the events in the economy. And, um, and, and the families themselves are often in, in dire need of help from stress, from no medical insurance, from all kinds of problems. We've also worked with trying to get those things promised to soldiers to happen, like tuition aid and medical aid, um, which has often been snatched away at the last minute. You didn't serve the last day in combat, so you, you don't get um, your medical or, or, or educational benefits. And, and um, members of this organization have created some really powerful programs um, right here in Massachusetts. We've had families, uh, family, Gold Star families, some of whom lost children in combat, some of whom lost children through suicide upon return, and um, have, have created a, really some model programs for veterans, but there's a lot more that needs to be done, as anyone who's involved with this knows. So, uh, if any of you have uh, family members, that means children, siblings, spouses, um, cousins, nephews in the military and are interested in working with other military families uh, to bring the end to the wars and healing to those who have gone through them and healing to our country because we're really not talking about what we're doing. It's kind of like, okay, uh, we're going to withdraw the troops. There's not going to be any discussion about whether they should have been there. It's just, you know, kind of another bureaucratic event. As much as we're, we're glad to see our children come home, our, our spouses come home, our siblings come home, um, there's not much celebration, is there, because of what has, has taken place to such a, a deep and terrible degree. And, and the healing is, is just beginning. We have... Um, tremendous rates of paraplegics and um, others who, who desperately need our help. So um, this is also an issue of unemployment at 21% for veterans as opposed to the already terrible 9 to 10% for the rest of us. military helps out the veterans to the degree that they have to. And so if there's no pressure, if it's just assumed that everything is going along fine, um, then there's minimal or no help. Um, when people have the power of working together, 
uh, to try and get things to happen, a little more happens. And, you know, we, we, it was parents, including parents right here in the state, the Lucy's, who brought the issue of, of return of soldiers' suicide uh, to the notice of, of, the, of the nation and of the military. And now the military is, is concerned about it. But it really took a family who is deeply in mourning over a very tragic event uh, to, have to, to have to go out and and demand that the VA do something about it, and they brought a suit against the VA. And we have um, um, Carlos Arredondo here, who's a Gold Star family member, who's a father of Gold Star, who has worked tirelessly every, every day since his son was killed in Iraq to try and bring peace and to try and bring healing to veterans. Um, so that, that's how the military works. They don't work with us. <laughs> We hope they work for us.